is ocean acidification? Ocean acidification occurs when the ocean absorbs more carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, which causes a decrease in the pH of the ocean and a change in the ocean's chemistry. Carbon dioxide is found naturally in the environment, but ever since the Industrial Revolution, more and more of it is being released. Carbon dioxide is released in the atmosphere from cars, burning of fossil fuels, deforestation, and even humans breathing. So the ocean absorbs about 30% of the carbon dioxide that's released into the atmosphere. Thus, when more CO2 is released in the atmosphere, the more CO2 the ocean absorbs. With the pH scale, the lower the pH, the more acidic something is. And the higher the pH, the less acidic something is, or the more alkaline it is. Also, with the pH scale, it's a log scale. So, for example, from a change from 8 to 8.1 may seem minimal, but in reality, it's actually a big change. For example, lemon juice has a pH of 2. Pure water has a pH of 7, which is also neutral on the pH scale. And bleach has a pH of 12. When carbon dioxide is absorbed, a series of chemical reactions occur. These reactions result in more hydrogen ions being released into the water. The increase in hydrogen ion concentration causes the water to become more acidic, so the pH decreases. The increase in water acidity is very bad for marine life. A change in the ocean water's pH can cause negative effects on marine life, such as impacting chemical communication, reproduction, and growth. When ocean acidification occurs, another problem it causes is a decrease in the abundance of carbonate ions. Carbonate ions are important because they are the building blocks of structures, such as shells and coral. If pH gets too low in the ocean, the shells of animals and coral can begin to dissolve or not fully form. Ocean acidification limits coral growth by corroding pre-existing coral skeletons while simultaneously slowing the growth of new ones. Ocean acidification has been on the rise. Furthermore, due to ocean acidification, mussels and oysters are expected to grow less shell by 25% and 10%, respectively, by the end of the century. Some fishes, such as the pollock and clownfish, ability to detect predators is decreased in more acidic waters. When these organisms are at risk, the entire food web might also be at risk. Estimates of future carbon dioxide levels indicate that by the end of this century, the surface waters of the ocean could have a pH of around 7.8. For reference, the ocean pH today is about 8.1. The last time the ocean pH was as low as 7.8 was in the middle of the Miocene era, which was 14 to 17 million years ago. During that time, the Earth was several degrees warmer and a major extinction was occurring. Ocean acidification impacts a whole ocean including coastal estuaries and waterways. Billions of people rely on fish as a source of food, and many jobs and economies rely on ocean fish and shellfish. To reduce ocean acidification, you can help by reducing your carbon footprint. You can do this by taking more public transportation, walking and biking more. You can use clean energy resources, such as windmills. You can eat local, which helps reduce transport. The four R's, refuse, reduce, reuse, and recycle. You can conserve water, educate others about ocean acidification, and so much more.